Green Plants, Happy Plants.com presents Nearly Miraculous Solutions. By now, you should at least have some idea of what green should mean in terms of safety and economy. Now let's find out, what do plants need? It is a fact of life that healthier plants are naturally more resistant to insects and other parasites and better able to cope with climatic extremes. It is also true that weaker, sicklier plants not only do not hold up against such attacks, but also will attract parasites, which further work to destroy those plants and keep them from proliferating. The conventional response is to treat the symptoms rather than the causes, and we treat both the healthy and the unhealthy the same. which has put us all at risk without addressing the problem. Perhaps what we need to do is to re-examine what makes healthy plants healthy in the first place and concentrate on being proactive rather than reactive. Starting with the obvious, we know that all plants need moisture, nutrition, light, and temperatures that allow them to process the moisture, nutrition, and light. Just as obvious should be the notion that the moisture, nutrition, and light plants get should be of sufficient quantity and quality to do the most good. Which probably means that we are not doing ourselves or the plants any favors by dousing them with poisons and trying to get them to grow with chemical fertilizers which lack the balanced trace elements that plants need. But there is something else. Even if we are making good water and balanced nutrients available, there is only one way that plants can utilize the moisture, nutrition, and light that they need, and that is through their skins. Think about it. Every function of a plant is dependent upon processes that either take place on their surfaces or require specific things to transpire through their surfaces. There is no other way for plants to survive. For example, whether it is the way plants inhale and exhale, take in or give off moisture, absorb nutrients, manufacture sugars from sunlight, reproduce, or just interact with nature, everything is related to the relative cleanliness of their skins. Therefore, the cleaner they are, the better they function, and the healthier they will be. Conversely, the dirtier they are, the more challenged they are, and the less robust they will be. It's pretty basic, really. Sunlight or moisture absorbed by dirt on the leaves is not going to be available to the plant through the leaves. In this picture, we have a close-up inspection which shows significant buildup of pollutants on the foliage of this orange tree, which will hinder its growth. But where does the dirt come from, and how do we make it go away? Plants are multitaskers. Among many other wonderful things plants do for us, they were created to help filter and purify the air we breathe. Part of that job is to capture a goodly portion of the dust, dirt, ash, and other particulates blowing around in the air. Getting dirt on their surfaces is really just a standard part of the plant's job. For this job, they are uniquely equipped Helping them capture the dirt from the air is a waxy substance plants secrete on their surfaces. This same wax serves to protect them from contamination. And when bugs target the unhealthy among them and eat them, the wax helps seal off their tissues and keep the plants from bleeding and losing excess moisture. Given the chance, the design really works. In nature, where the contamination is from natural sources, 
Normal rainfall and condensed moisture roll across the waxy surfaces of the plants, collecting all the dirt and washing it to the soil below. This leaves the plant surfaces clean and able to function at their best. There's just one problem. We've tampered with the system. Much of the pollution being captured by plants is from other than natural sources. Additionally, conventional farming methods have further complicated things. Actually, there's more than one problem. Most conventional products used on plants in North America are derived from petroleum-related ingredients. These products leave residues which seep into the soil and into the groundwater, polluting our streams and waterways, and making their way into our homes and drinking water. That can't be healthy. And the problems compound. Along with posing health hazards to the farmers and even taxing the health of the plants themselves they're supposed to be treating, these chemical products typically leave an oily film on the plant's trunks, branches, stems, fruit, and leaves. So that presents a bit of a challenge. This film not only can choke the pores of the plants, but it also becomes a glue-like magnet for dirt and additional contaminants which adhere to the plant's surfaces. This added load further blocks the free flow of air, moisture, and nutrients to and from the plants. Similarly, the surfaces of the roots and root hairs can become clogged by these oily residues. And commercial fertilizers also have a history of locking up the soil so that precious trace minerals cannot be released to the plants. We need some help. Because the surface tension of the water, especially hard or chemically challenged water, is so strong, the water cannot penetrate and break down the sticky, oily chemical residues and wash them harmlessly away from the plant's outer surfaces. Nor can water alone release the minerals in the soil so that the plants can thrive. It requires something else. Just as with washing a dirty car or a greasy pair of hands, something else is needed to give water the cleansing advantage it lacks. The ability to break water particles down small enough to get between the tight chemical bonds of the contaminants and wash them away without further damage to plants or soil. Of course, solvents are out of the question because of their innate toxicity to plants, people, and the planet. Though often used to break up oil and grease, detergents or any other solutions which also come from petroleum distillates would be counterproductive to the life and health of plants and soils. And ordinary soaps, even so-called green ones, are generally not strong enough to do the job. And most of them also contain toxic or cancer-causing ingredients. Until recently, there were no answers. But now there are. They are unique on the planet, and you are about to meet them. Get the full story and access to these amazing benefits and products at cleanplantshappyplants.com.